Multiplying fractions is actually quite a bit easier than adding them because we don't have to worry about common denominators. We just multiply straight across. So here we have one third times two fifths. We just multiply one times two, we get two. And three times five, and we get 15. Now if this reduced, that would be our last step, but this one doesn't, so 2 fifteenths is our answer. For our second example, we're going to do slightly differently because 25 times 42 is kind of hard to do in your head, so we're going to break these numbers down into smaller pieces first. 12 is the same thing as 6 times 2, and 25 is the same thing as 5 times 5. 35 is the same thing as 7 times 5. A very good multiplication there, there we go. And 42 is the same as 7 times 6. Now you can see that we have the same thing on top and bottom in a number of places, so we can do some canceling. 6 goes with 6, 5 goes with 5, 7 goes with 7, and we just made our life a whole lot easier. This entire fraction canceled out to 1 over 1, so since we're going to be multiplying by 1 over 1, we can just pretty much ignore this entire side. Over here, 6 and 5 canceled out, so we have 2 left on top, and 5 left on the bottom. 2 fifths is our final answer. I had a little bit of extra time, so I'm going to go ahead and do the guided practice on the session. We have 2 fifths times 5 ninths. Again, we multiply straight across. We get 2 times 5, that's 10 over 5 times 9 is 45. Then we could reduce top and bottom both divide by 5, so we get 2 over 9. Alternatively, we could look at the beginning problem, see that there's a 5 on the top and a 5 on the bottom, cancel them both. All we'd be left with is 2 on this side and 9 on this side, and you can see that that gives us the same 2 ninths. On B, we have one-third times two-sevenths times two-fifths. There aren't any things that are the same on the top and bottom, so we're going to go ahead and multiply straight across. One times two is two, and two times two is four. So we have four in our numerator. Three times seven is twenty-one, and twenty-one times five is a hundred and five. So we get four one-hundred and fifths, and that does not reduce. And in our last example, one half plus two thirds, I'm sorry, times two thirds, times three fourths, times four fifths. We're going to look and see what can cancel. Uh, we have a two and a two, we have a three and a three, we have a four and a four. Wow, that made things a lot easier. Nothing left on top but a one, nothing left on the bottom but a five. Wasn't any math to do at all, just one fifth. <laughs>